Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett. It is the Ramble, our little talkathon that goes on until midnight Eastern Time in the United States of America. If it's not that time in America, then you're probably listening to this as one of our 24/7 uh, feeds, and it is uh, pre-recorded. But uh, otherwise. If you're listening to it right now at uh, oh six minutes past ten o'clock Eastern Time, that means that we are live. And since we're live, we may as well talk to an old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Larry Bubbles Brown, and yes, I have to tell you ahead of time, he's a comic. Uh, the reason I have to tell you ahead of time is so that you will know because he does really doesn't come on and do bits. You know, <laughs> they just lull a crowd to sleep, so it's hard to believe well, I'm actually well, a comic. You, you were one of those comics I loved on my show because you never did do bits. You know, you never did do your act when you came on. Yeah, I tried not to. Some comics did, and always seemed, when you do that, it seems a little forced. You know, well, it's kind of like you. Would, I would say something, and all of a sudden, the comic would then burst into something from his act that had nothing to do with what I just said. Exactly. <laughs> you know. and, and, and I would sometimes sit down with the comics after the show who did that and say, you don't have to do your act. Just be yourself and be funny. You know, be fun. Yeah, and be fun. And it you was know? easy because your show is very conversational, whereas most of the uh, shows were just uh, like a morning zoo, just uh, set you up for a bit. Yeah. And this was... Well, years <laughs> earlier, I had heard, seen an interview with, uh, with uh, uh, Steve Allen. Uh, a person I didn't really respect that much, but, you know, nevertheless, he knew what he was doing. And he had two pieces of advice. Um, and first piece of advice was, uh, the job is not to be funny. The job is to be fun. Uh, you can't be funny all the time, but you can be fun all yeah. the time. And he said, that's the object, be fun. And that's what I tried to impart to these comedians. When you come on my show, don't try to be funny, just be fun. You know. The other piece of advice he had was, if you have a guest on, let them go to work. Let them shine. You know, because that's why mm -hmm. you invited them on the show. You're, and, and you're going to be there tomorrow. They're not. You know. So you didn't bring them on because you wanted them to be uh, something for your talent to shine you want their talent to shine so showcase yeah. them and don't try to top the comic and i think that's what johnny carson was great at but uh, some of the other people that uh, had the tonight show would actually try to top the comic well and carson would just sit back and let him go you know the problem with the jay leno is the host of the tonight show and i always said this and this is why i never really liked him as a host of the tonight show and by the way i consider leno one of the greatest comics of all time as a stand-up, he was empirical, you know? He was, yeah. Uh, I mean, I remember um, uh, Feldman and I going to see him at the uh, Stanford University, and the guy did two hours. Two hours. And we were just, we were just aghast at his virtuosity. And the fact that he started off every show with about 20 minutes of material that was topical, and then he would just go into his regular act. But then you thought the whole act was fresh. Uh huh. You know, I mean, he was just masterful at what he did. But when he went and did The Tonight Show, I said, wrong. And people said, why? I said, you don't want a comic hosting a talk show with other comics. Because they're always going to try to top the comic. Right. And that isn't the job of the host. The host is to make the, the guest shine. And that was, I think, Jay Leno's biggest problem. Was he, you know, he, he, he wanted to get the laugh, you know? So, 
Um, yeah, not a good choice. Not a good uh, choice. Not a good choice. But, you know, he did very well, and he did better than Letterman, you know. But then uh -huh. again, there's no accounting for America's taste. <laughs> Remember, we thought we thought Pat Sajak was going to be a great talk show host, and he didn't quite make it, although I liked him. I'll tell you, I thought Pat Sajak would be terrific, uh, because I had him on my radio show, and he had a quality, a, a very naturally fun quality about him that I thought would uh -huh. be a good... When I heard he was going to get a talk show, I said, very good choice, okay? Then he went on. And what I liked about him was he was edgy. He had a, 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 an edge to his his humor. Uh, and um, it's it, so, uh, but then he got the, the show, the talk, he got the uh, the late show. This was the one before Letterman right. did it. Uh, and uh, I thought, oh, this is going to be a slam dunk. This guy is going to finally, you know, uh -huh. uh, take, uh, take Carson at least give Carson a run for his money because he had a very Jack Parr quality to him. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw in him. And he came on and he did this show and he played it so safe that it was terrible. It was just terrible. He was afraid to put that edge into it. And if he'd put that edge into it, he would have given Johnny a run for his money because he had the chops. So, yeah. Uh, and I know people find that hard to to uh, uh, understand because it's Pat Sajak and you only mean Wheel of Fortune. But I mean, I, he, when he was a guest on my show, he had a real edge. He came on with Vanna and uh, they were both kind of edgy, to tell you the damn truth. You know. She was, wow. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I mean, he's done okay for himself. You know, he's had how many years with Wheel of Fortune and I guess oh he makes God, a fortune doing that. He's got to be worth a fortune, yeah. Yeah. So... You know, he's had a good career, but, uh, in fact, I think he, didn't he leave Wheel of Fortune when he went to do the talk show? And then he came back he to he did it? for a while, yeah. Yeah, and then the he came. The talk show lasted maybe a little over a year. Maybe not even that, you know. But uh, people go, Pat Sajak had a late night talk show? Yeah, yeah. He was the CBS guy before uh, they finally came. Then, then they went back to, I think, showing movies in late night. It was crime time after prime time, I think. They ran all their their TV shows of mysteries. I think, yeah, they were running shows like Wise Guy and <laughs> yeah. like a repeat to that. <laughs> and then the Letterman thing came along. And letter, there was enough yeah. space between uh, the two events that, that Letterman never had to live up to some kind of standard. You know, he could just walk in and do what he wanted to do. And Letterman was incredibly successful. I mean, he... Uh, um, this, of course, was after Leno had taken over The Tonight Show, and he went in the first uh, year or so that he was on. When I think you were on with him, he was still, he was number one in Late Night. Yeah. But I got to hand it to Dave. Dave always had a great sense of humor. When Leno fi finally um, regained number one, which do you remember how he regained number one? Was the interview with Hugh Grant? That's right. Hugh Grant had uh, had been blown by a hooker uh, <laughs> on uh, I don't know uh, the main drag in, in Hollywood, and in fact I, I interviewed her. Her name was Divine Brown. I remember Divine that. Divine Brown, night. yeah. I interviewed her, and she said, "You know why he got caught?" And I said, "No, why?" He said, "While I was blowing him, he was reacting to me blowing him by tapping his foot on the brake pedal." And so the, oh. <laughs> the lights, the brake lights were flashing. And the cops saw that and said, what's going on with that car? And they went over and there I was blowing them. <laughs> but anyway, it was a big That's deal, a that, story. you know, that, that you, Grant, had done this. And uh, I guess because, number one, his show was out of Hollywood and he had access to actors uh, you Grant agreed to come on the show and do his big mea culpa, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it, you know. Stupid of me, blah, blah, blah. And that show got huge ratings. And from yeah. that day on, Let Leno was number one and remained uh -huh. number one until, until the very end. Well, what Letterman did is Leno always was 
he always was an asshole where it came to, to Dave, okay? And uh, he was always trying to top Dave. And uh, Dave and he used to be big friends. I mean, you got to remember one of the big guests that Letterman used to have on his late show was, in fact, Jay Leno. And uh, but it had gotten to the point where they were they were really antagonistic towards each other. And and Dave disliked Jay because Jay was always going, why can't we all get along? Is there enough room for everybody? You know, <laughs> uh, and um, Jay in his boasting, uh, took out a billboard in Times Square uh, that you could see from the Letterman Theater that read, Jay Leno, number one in prime time. Wow. So Dave immediately bought a giant billboard across the street from the Ed Sullivan Theater, and on it it read, David Letterman, number two in prime time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I but um, that was not a happy uh, happy thing that went on there, uh, Leno and Letterman. Although they did wind up doing a commercial for the Super Bowl together. Do you remember that? With Oprah. Yeah, with Oprah. Yeah. And it was like Letterman on one side and Leno on the other side, and. Leno's saying things like, why can't we all get along? And Letterman is like mocking him, why can't we all get along? You know, and Oprah's in the middle of going, come on, boys. <laughs> you know, you two should get along. And that was the first time they had actually been in the same room together in years. Mm -hmm. And these were guys, I think they used to play, uh, um, uh, what's her name, Mitzi's Place down in L.A. together. You know. I heard they were close. They're close friends, like in the seventies. And I thought I I could be wrong, but I thought they were both staff writers for Good Times. Uh, I know that Letterman was a staff writer for and on um, the Mary Tyler Moore Variety Hour. That mm -hmm. I do know. I don't know if he wrote for Good Times though. That I don't know. We'll uh, look that up. Yeah, um, but he. Uh, he used to write material for, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, you know, uh, from good times. Uh, Jimmy Walker. Jimmy Walker. He used to write for Jimmy Walker. Yeah. That's why, uh, to the end, he would always have Jimmy Walker on once a year as a guest. Uh-huh. Um, in fact, he would have all his old friends on at least once a year. Yeah, he had a little more loyalty than uh, I think Jay did. Yeah, yeah. So it was, you know, it was uh, it was quite a quite a interesting uh, time those times. Anyway, so uh, what's new in the life of Larry Vols Brown? Now, how are we doing on technology? <laughs> it hasn't increased. <laughs> See, y your reputation now is so based on the fact that you know nothing about technology that if you ever knew something about technology, you'd ruin a whole kind of mystique that you have yeah somebody uh, a few of the younger comics told me they thought i was really cool because i had a flip phone they thought that they weren't laughing that that's that kind of retro it's kind of neat <laughs> well the flip phone may be coming back uh i mean they still make them uh but mm -hmm. they may be coming back uh because they found a new way to make a foldable phone where the screen folds so when you open it up, it's the size of what a normal phone is today, but you can you can fold it up. Oh, okay. So maybe I'll go for that. Maybe you might be thinking about that. Yeah, but then then you have to learn things like well, you know how to text, don't you? I do know how to text. Tell them how you text. It's uh, you got to hit that button three times sometimes to get that one letter. <laughs> So literally, it takes it takes longer to uh, type hello than it does to say it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, what I do, I don't even type into mine anymore. I just simply say all my stuff. And you can just yeah, that's uh, and that the uh, voice recognition is pretty good at not screwing words up. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, uh, it's better and better. Let me put it that way. And if it fucks up, you know, I'm sending a I'm sending a, a text, 
And if it fucks up a little bit, so people understand what I'm trying to say, you know. But uh-huh. I find that I can write a longer text faster just by talking into my phone, you know. But you wouldn't know about that. I wouldn't know, uh, though I do know that Apple apparently lost <laughs> quite a bit of their value in the past five well, months. Well, that's because you never bought one of their phones. <laughs> I could have saved them. <laughs> and you don't have, you don't have uh, 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 high-speed Internet. No, although that, that has driven me so crazy. i got to change that, and I'm looking around Well, you around keep again. saying it, but you never do it. You, I know. You've got friends who work for those companies, and you don't do it. Well, Isn't it time that you did it? It is time to do it. I can't. Uh, I can't but open you know, up anything. Yeah, it takes up five minutes to open a page. You know? How are you all? How old are you now? Uh, I was well, six. Sixty-six. Okay. Um, well, you could be dead before you ever do it. That's true. Yeah. Do you fear death? Uh, I, maybe I'm starting to welcome it. I told someone the other day, to me, winning the lottery would be getting a painless terminal disease at this point. Oh, a painless terminal disease. A painless terminal disease. Is there such a thing? There are a couple. Uh, remember the old TV show, Run for Your Life? Yes. With Ben Gazzara. Oh, yeah. He had he- pain, pain, painless terminal disease, and I... They, I looked it up. I forget what it's called, but there is a disease. The one he had is that would be the one to get. It's You've got pa- like two it, years to live. Is it is it really painless? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. You would think the act of dying is not necessarily well. Maybe it is painless. Maybe when you're finally going to die. All right, um, the, the, that very act is probably maybe pleasurable. You know. That it's just a wafting away. It's just, you know. Because I don't know. See, I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going through. Uh, did I tell you my, my ex-wife, Ronnie, uh, who I don't, th- you never knew. I never met her. No, no because well, by the time I moved to California, I was, I was divorced from her. Um, is dying of, of uh, inoperable cancer. And so I've been kind of going through this with her. And for someone, me, who is so afraid of death, uh, it's, it's a kind of a weird, it's strange experience for me, you know. And I hate to put it all on me since she's the one doing the dying, right? But yeah. it, 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 um, it's, it's, you know, it, it has only made me more depressed the rest of the time, you know, about things. Like, oh, I'm going to get prostate cancer. You know, this test going to come back bad. You know mm-hmm. that kind of thing, and and uh, uh, I uh, and I've always had this great fear of death. But uh, I mean, have you ever had a, a absolute fear? I have a morbid fear of death, if there is such a thing. I have a morbid well, fear of morbidity. <laughs> well, you're in good company. Woody Allen's always had the morbid fear. Didn't he say recently though he's kind of gotten over it? I didn't see that. Maybe he has, but yeah, um, you know. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, how old is he now? God, he's older than me, isn't he? Woody was born in thirty-five, so okay. he'd be eighty-three. Eighty-three. God, you can figure yeah. those things out really easy, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I was born in thirty-nine. Which you would then say, if you didn't know my birthday, be, that I was... Be 79. Eight, that, no, but you would say I was 80. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but because it was... You were born the, the end of the... The end of 39. The end of the year. I am, my age always ends with the same numerical number that the year does. In other words, I'm now 79. It's, you know, and the year ends in a nine. Uh-huh. So that's that's my uh, <clears throat> that's my story. I'm sticking to it. But no, I so I've always had this morbid fear of morbidity. And um, you well, know, how does how is Ronnie taking this? Is she? Uh, well, you know, it's it's not easy. Uh, uh, she will on the show. I'm not going to reveal it now. Gone through some kind of little therapy that has helped her with it. Um. 
but it's you know it's it's it, her feeling is and it, it's a pretty positive one i mean people love to hear her talk about this because she she really has some some theories on it she says i know that i have a basically a sell by date but i don't know how much of that i'm going to have you know and so therefore uh I could live longer than that sell-by date, or I could live shorter than that sell-by date. She said, so really, I'm still in the same situation I was when I didn't know I had a terminal disease. I don't know when I'm going to go. You know? mm. um, but it's, you know, I mean, I, I always wish for people. My father always said to me, this was, my father always was the man I went to for great wisdom. And his line was, I hope when I die, I get hit by a Mack truck. <laughs> you know that he didn't he didn't want to go from some lingering disease and actually he lingered but it was only a week he got a, a pituitary tumor which today is completely operable but in those days it was a death sentence uh -huh. and uh uh he went in about a week but uh you know he he said i want to go i want a mac truck to hit me he said i don't want, I, want, I don't want to know what happened to me now i wonder if you uh, know what happened to you you know, at some point, you're, isn't your body still kind of sending signals to your brain going, well, you've just been completely demolished? I think you'd have three seconds of at least sheer terror, yes. Well, they said that when they used to have, like, the, the beheadings in France, the guillotine, uh -huh. that the heads were still blinking their eyes after they were cut off. Ugh. So you're wondering how much, you know, how much of the brain was still saying, why am I seeing the sky all the time now? <laughs> you know. And 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 there, you know, I wish. Uh, now you're not a religious guy, are you? No. I I, I wouldn't. Don't pay. believe in fairy tales. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe in fairy tales. Well, I don't either. And I think that the lucky people in this world are the people who have a good faith in God. You know, so that when they look at death, they go, "Well, I'm going to meet." I'm going to meet grandma and I'm going to meet grandpa and I'm going to meet, uh -huh. you know, that kind of thing uh, that uh, that they, uh, you know, they say. I mean, it, it, it uh, they, they don't have a fear of death because you're going to a better place. No. no, which is probably the reason religion was invented, because of that. Well, that and because there were some people who wanted to make money uh, yeah. off, of, off of people who had the fear of death. You know, I mean, all religion is based on fear of death. It's sure. what's going to happen to you when you die. It's not going to be, well, if you believe in God, things are going to be better for you now. Because the people they preach it to don't have things very good right now. No. And they really think that when they go to their just reward in, in God's heaven, that's where they're going to be rich. That's why, do you ever notice cathedrals and wonder why they're so big and so impressive? Mm -hmm. It's because it was a place that poor people could come to that was like a palace that for at least one day a week they were welcomed into yeah. and was their house of worship. And so it was really the, these churches, the way they were built and the way they looked, were a come on, really, to people who didn't have anything. Boy, are we going to be loved by religious people right now. <laughs> well, like you say, though, I mean, maybe if you were really religious and you truly believe that, maybe, yeah, you would feel a lot better. But people have said to me, what if, what, what if you go, what if there is a heaven? And, and you go to the pearly gates, and uh, you didn't believe in God. And I said, well, if he's the God you profess that he is, he'll forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he'll forgive me. He'll let us in. <laughs> he'll let us in, sure. You know. So, I mean, I, uh, you know, I've, I've, that's why, I'll tell you why I've hated religion over the years, is that every time people go to war, they name God as the reason they're doing it. Let's fight for God and country. Right. And God is always the first thing they mention, not country. And, and I'm thinking, how many people have been killed because of religious differences? And, you know, it, it, is, is that healthy? Uh, I don't think so. 
you know. Uh, I think that it's uh, it's terrible. So, anyways, but you're not religious at all. You never. No, no. I mean, were you brought up in any religion? Uh, Episcopal, which is kind of like Roman Catholic light, but uh, no, it wasn't. I hear about those things like Episcopal anything. and Presbyterian, and I go, "What the fuck are those religions anyway?" You know? Yeah, they were the Episcopal. I think was an offshoot with the when Henry the Eighth broke off from the Catholic Church. Oh, so it's really like the Church of England. Yeah. 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 Okay. All righty. Well, anyway, that explains it. Fight with a religious fight. But I think, uh, weren't most of the founding fathers atheists <laughs> in uh, well, this country? They would be if they saw the president now. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we've run out of time, Larry. It's just flown by. It's flown by like uh, like it never happened. So let's pretend we like got it never two in did. the can. We're off to a good start. <laughs> two in the can. Thank you, Bubbles. Thanks, Alex. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. I always love talking to Bubbles. I always say that every week. <clears throat> love talking to the Bubs. The the Brownster, the Blurry Bubble Brown person that we talk to anyway love talking to him okay it's time now for me to turn on the uh, skype lines i hate to even plug skype uh <laughs> you know i was talking yesterday by the way our lines are open so you can you can call if you want to um the thing that was getting me uh yesterday about all this problem i was having with skype is on top of everything on top of everything Okay, um, uh, Skype on the new version of Skype put a thing where you could where it puts the Skype you know the word Skype on the on the page uh, on this old one you could just not run it at all right but now you you just have a choice of where you want it on the screen okay uh, and uh, I looked for any way I could to do away with that hey look who's calling and believe it or not. He's, he's going to be, uh-oh, uh -oh. where is he? Where is he? Wait a minute, are we going to be able to get him? And uh, Ray Renati just called too. Phil, are you there? Phil's having a hard time. Phil is in an airplane. Uh, Phil, you're breaking up like crazy. Oh, wait, there you go. Well, wait a minute. Uh, anyway, we lost him. We lost him. Okay. Uh, but that was Phil was is in an airplane and he said he was going to call tonight and try and deal with it. Are you there, Brian? Brian, Ludwig, are you there, Brian? Are you there, Ray? Where is everybody? We're supposed to have sound on these people. Hello, are you guys there at all? Uh, Brian, are you there? Huh. Let me see here. Is there anything that's not on? No. Everything seems to be on. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with Brian, and I don't know what's wrong with Ray. Uh, let's, uh, let's see if they can call back again. Okay, here comes uh, Rob Alfano. And... Okay, and and, and 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 there's Rob. He Rob. Hello. Okay. Can you hear yeah. me? And Ray, are you there? I'm here. Yeah, Ray is there. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, oh, now some, it's working. I always some... feel guilty when you're on because you're working out and I'm laying down. Uh, yeah. Don't feel bad. No, I should because I went to my doctor today, and my doctor said you need some exercise. Yeah. Uh, you know what she? You know what she suggested? What? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, hold on a second, stare. I haven't even put your pictures on. There we go. I Roll around this, on the bed. <laughs> no, I have this Stairmaster downstairs, and I told her that I hate doing it, and she said, she goes, I'm a gadget person. She goes, if I were you, I would get some VR glasses, and you can have a blast. There's all kinds of great games to get your heart rate going. You oh, should yeah, do that. that's true. And I'm like, you know what, can you prescribe that, and I can get it paid for by my medical? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For that me, it's an addiction. So. 
Well, it's you know, it's uh, an addiction for me. It actually like is my medicine. So I wish it was an addiction for me. Uh, this is what's an addiction for me: relaxing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, and and I lose weight just by not eating. So you know that that that's my that way. works. That's that's my exercise. Uh, I don't know why 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 didn't you did you hear me Ray when I was saying Ray before or no 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 uh, also Brian was on there but he's gone now yeah because and it said I said you know hello Brian and he didn't answer we couldn't either. hear you or see you wow well apparently that was a minor glitch and we'll just take it as that yeah I don't this, know what happened to him he said he was going to call back yeah uh, let hmm. me let me see here uh, so. Um, um. Yeah. Uh, uh. Brian, call us back. I don't know what his problem was. He couldn't even. He, neither of you could get your picture or anything. And then all of a sudden, Rob came on, and then you came on, and everything's fine. So. Yeah, I wanted, hey, yeah, hey. I wanted Phil on tonight after the news today. It's too bad. <laughs> well, he might call from the airplane. You know, he called he me. Won't. He called me earlier. No, he called me earlier on my other line from the airplane to test it, oh. and I got him okay. But apparently there's a problem. Are you there, Brian? There's Brian. Uh, he yeah, should there's be... going to be slapback back because I have the feet on. Okay, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you, but I can't see you yet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There, 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 there's Brian. Okay, pretty simple. Hey, Alex, huh? you know that guillotine thing you were talking can't about? Can't see you though, Alex. What? You can't see me? The guillotine. Oh, you should. I see. see. Oh, there you go. I see you now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you, what guillotine thing? Uh, Oh, well, you were talking about, with Bubs, you were talking about the, the heads on the guillotine blinking and looking at the sky. Yeah, yeah. So, so Louis Pasteur, I, I remember, he, um, he had his assistant, when before he got executed, uh -huh. uh, make, uh -huh. see if he was blinking. And how, he said he would blink like crazy until he couldn't stop <laughs> yeah. after he had his head chopped off. And, well, and he, bl he blinked like 18 times or something. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Awful way to do an experiment. <laughs> You know, <laughs> uh, so he he just kept blinking. That's amazing. That was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah. To, hello Good stuff to know. Hello to Charles Wallace. By the way, now folks, as a, because we had to go back to an older version of uh, Skype, we actually get the people's names up there. Okay, here comes Phil. Let's see if we can actually get him on the airplane. Hello, Phil. Can you hear us? Can you hear us, Phil? Wait a minute. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not surprised it's dropped like that. Well, you know, it's the Wi-Fi in airplanes, which... You know, maybe when he called before, less people were using it, but it's a shared line. It, it is oh, on the, on the Wi-Fi in airplanes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The more people that so, are using it. Hello, Phil. Yeah. Are you there? Uh, nah, we're we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna be able to get him. Phil, call us when you get to L.A. Call when you get to L.A. He has a layover in L.A., so um, you know uh, we can then check him out then. Anyway, where was I? So um, um, okay, we had uh, a Pasteur got the, his guy. Was Pasteur around during the revolution? I, I'm pretty sure it was Pasteur. But maybe it was another scientist. I thought it was it, him. Though. It had to be another scientist. I think Pasteur was like beyond. It was later, huh? Yeah, it was later. Uh, I have to go look it up. One, uh, some French scientist at the time that is famous. You'd recognize his name. Yeah. He had his assistant count the number of times he blinked because he said he was going to kind of try to keep blinking afterwards, and he blinked. He blinked a whole shitload of times. Y yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. well, uh, 18 would be a shitload. Yeah, I think uh, it was 18, something like that. Yeah. I have yeah. to look it up. Well, 18 but, seconds would be a hell load in terms of uh, the hell you would experience knowing that you're now the detached head sucking from your body. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. And, I don't think you'd feel anything because your spinal cord would be cut. But yeah. well, well, who knows? You know. I don't know. We, yeah, who knows? We, we of course, I say the same thing about reincarnation being hell on earth, so... Yeah. There we go. There's uh, Jeff Stein. Hello, Jeffrey. How are you this evening? Good. Well, uh, now you said, Rob, that you wanted to talk to Phil because of of what happened today. What happened today? Now that is getting to you. I mean, a lot of things. Every day something happens. So I just yeah. want to know what in particular you're well, referring to. Ru Rudy Giuliani's. Um 
Rudy Giuliani's statements today. Did you hear them? Well, it was a, it was a statement he made, uh, taking back a statement. He said, "No." He said, "What did he say exactly? That it was it was uh, it was collusion by the he said, campaign." I, I, I never said it was collusion. I, I never I never said it wasn't uh, collusion. I, it wasn't collusion. I said it was Trump, but I didn't say it was campaign wasn't colluding with the Russians. Yeah. Uh, and now who's, that's what he said. He, who, he said, uh, you know, well, maybe right. the campaign did. Yeah, OK. Well, who's the yeah, head of the campaign? With that. They have <laughs> tape. They have video of him actually saying. Oh, yeah. That, they played yeah, a ton of it. Even yeah. even both him and Trump saying it. Yeah. Me or my campaign. Yeah. No collusion. No, no collusion, collusion with my campaign. No collusion. no collusion with my campaign. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to go down in flames. You know, what, you know what they're doing now, how they're referring to Rudy Giuliani. Have you noticed the difference in the way they are referring to him? They are now referring to him as Trump's TV lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, because I always call him the bastard child of uh, the Crypt Keeper and Skeletor. Yeah, yeah. Um, at the and and Cohen came out today at he's saying at the direction of Donald Trump, yeah, that he paid to rig polls in Trump's favor. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and he met some guy at a Walmart and handed him a bag of cash or something like that <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> yeah, well, he said it was a check, but the guy says but it you was see, a bag he, of cash. Here's the problem. Here's the problem with Cohen. Is they're going to try and discredit him by saying, "Well, he's a liar," and look at all the horrible things he did and everything, you know? So but they're going to try. About it. That's, that's think, why Trump hired them. But that's not. But think about it. They're not going to just let you say all this stuff that's not yeah. corroborative. Corroboratable, right? If that's a word. Corroboratable, corroborative. Corro There's got to be a, what, what's the word? Uh, uh, cor uh, corroborative. 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 <laughs> Whatever, but I mean, they're just not going to. He could say whatever he wants, but they're only going to pay attention to what they can corroborate. Right. So you got to assume that they have some information that can corroborate this particular thing as well. So, you know. Now well, the, the news the, is getting tighter and yeah, tighter yeah, and tighter. Yeah, yeah, but 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 the news is getting tighter around a lot of things that maybe have nothing to do with the Mueller investigation. You know, I mean, we, you know, if if uh, Cohen wants to tell us what a sleaze bag Trump was when it came to business, well, we already knew that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we did. But, uh, but but Rudy Giuliani basically said today that the campaign corroborated with or uh, colluded with Russia. He basically said that. Oh, in my defense. Well, yeah, I mean, ever, what he said is, I did. I didn't say the campaign didn't collude. Well, the campaign is Donald Trump. Exactly. Uh, you know, I mean, apparently he's his TV lawyer. Well, I guess he can practice before Judge Judy, but that's about it, you know. <laughs> I watched Fox News today to see how they report on this stuff, and mm -hmm. it's very scary. Man. Don't you love I mean, they just, minute, Don't you I, no, I've got the, those two channels, MSNBC and Fox, really near each other, and I sometimes go yeah. back and forth between them to see these two absolute differences in realities neither yeah, of which are, neither it's of which it's not going to change the truth yeah and all it's going to do is create a deeper divide and when they do come down on trump it's going to cause violence and it's going to cause unrest and and uh, that's the unfortunate part because you know they're creating their own bubble in their own world but the truth is still the truth yeah because if you ever watch fox news and that's all you watch you will believe right that Trump is just getting the shaft right and and look at yeah. Phil I mean you know I said it last night because he was saying that you know we you know there's this you know it's if it's about Trump we're all what was that thing he said last night about 100 percent against Trump and I said it's you're 100 percent for Trump or whatever the mm -hmm. but I mean he's buying into it hook line and sinker yeah. and it's, well he completely I, ignores I, all the all the when we bringing up negative things or how yeah. he's not kept his word. Phil just ignores he focuses that. on his his he's yeah. looking at the horizon and the horizon is he has done what he said he was going to do regardless. Yeah. That's the bottom line, his ethics, his morals, his 
his methodologies, his uh, his lack of moral compass doesn't matter to him. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, you, you talk about security threats. Nancy Pelosi was going to go to Afghanistan, and they never broadcast ahead of time when they're going to do that because that would be a security risk. Right. Donald Trump comes out and outs her about it. I didn't even think that of that. That was a total asshole move. But you know what? You're absolutely right. Well, Vernon, right? Or you won't let me do my uh, State of the Union address. Well, I'm not going to let you go to Afghanistan. Yeah. You know. Mm. And, 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 uh, that, though. Well, Melania flew to Kiralago today on a, on a government plane. I saw it on the. She went to Mar-a-Lago. Well, don't tell anybody because they, they, it, that's a dangerous yeah. place to be. I wonder if they got paid. <laughs> Malaria well, she, can fly to hell for all I care. She would have to fly on a government plane. I mean, you can't. Oh, yeah. First yeah, lady yeah. can't. Fly. No, but what I'm saying is, is he took the government plane away from Pelosi, but his wife oh, gets oh, it during right. a shutdown. It's yeah, the, I mean, just. Yeah. Hypocrisy. Now, here's a question I have. I always had, like, when uh, Trump was, like, uh, out uh, uh, on the stump uh, giving speeches to get Republicans elected, does, does, he, does the Republican Party pay for, for Air Force One in those cases? Because I, I, think, I, I think the campaigns pay for that. They do. I mean, in other words, if he runs for president again and he goes around the country giving speeches, he takes Air Force One. And by the way, let me designate the fact that Air Force One is any plane that the president is on. Right. Yep. Uh, uh, it, it could be a, it could be a Piper Cub, and it would be Air Force One because they have that designation. So when they're talking to a tower. The tower knows exactly what plane it is. Okay, uh, but my question is: Is he going to get pay, is he going to get paid for that? Is he are they, is he going to pay for that, uh, or are we going to wind up paying for some of it? Um, I don't know. I don't well, know all the answer. presidents all presidents stump for other. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that uh, it's the same. Yeah, but who pays the who pays the pays the tab on that? The American public or the campaign that he he's uh, he's helping? You know, hey, hey, look 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 who's here. Jason is here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hello, Jason. How are you? Pretty good. Yourself? Uh, good. Good. I almost thought we wouldn't have a gadnet here anymore, but uh, luckily we found a workaround. Um, and it looks good too. That's yeah. the thing I really like about it. it in okay. fact, in fact, this is an old Skype. This Skype is uh, goes back to June of 1917. This version of Skype, okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it is better than the most recent version of Skype Classic that we were well, using. Getting aside a lot of technology from yesteryear yeah. before no, I was no. born. But the, no longer lasting and more I don't know how sure. Microsoft managed to pull it off, but ever since they took over Skype, all right, it has each uh, new version of it has gotten worse and worse, not better and better. I mean, there are a few things that are better. The picture is better. Uh, they've got the technology down a little better, but this is an old one, and the picture is terrific on everybody, all right? So I don't understand... Uh, and I, I really have no idea how they could do this, how they could go out of their way to make sure that they make things worse rather than better. Uh, the old version is much more user friendly. It, as oh, say. Well, the old version is absolutely user friendly. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Magno is joining us, Tony too. Magno. So there we are. OK. All righty. Hello, Tony. Are you there, you. Tony? Yeah, turn, you. turn your camera on, would you? Oh, sorry. Sorry, you always do that. We always I have do. To, I'm on a remote. Oh, thing. Hold oh, on. Oh, 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 then we have to look at the stupid fucking Muppets, you know. <laughs> don't, hey, don't. That's my Jim Henson. Yeah. Uh, uh, adjust your camera so that your face is a little more in the center oh. of the picture. You're looking like yeah. Kilroy was here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you didn't move your camera. No, move your camera. Are you on a portable? Are you on a laptop? Yeah, my laptop. Well, just move the, move the, uh, move the, the. Yeah, there we there go. go. See, see, that's the way you do it. Mess. Uh, but, by the way, how are the, we were uh, asking this the other day? How are your teeth doing? You know, he went out. He had the, 
you had the worst mouth I've ever seen in my life. You, you it was pretty bad. Uh, how is it now? Let's see. Smile a little bit. Look at that. Just top ones here. I went to the dentist last That's week. a movie star smile. Yeah. <laughs> now if you could do something with that hair. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> comb your hair before you come on. Yeah. No, it's like a, it's like a mop. I just came out of the shower. I was actually sleeping. It was a tony. You know, I, my nights have been. I've been sleeping upstairs. My mother wakes me oh, up. Yeah. You look so different. But anyway, he, it, it, my friend Shecky, it was the one that convinced you to go to a yes. dentist and get braces and get the teeth yes. fixed at like I don't know, forty-eight years of age. You almost look yeah, like a different person. Right. Huh? Yeah. I said it, I, I'm surprised that's that's uh, um, Tony. He look almost looks like a completely different person. Actually, when I used to play basketball, I actually chipped the tooth. When I used to play basketball at the park, I remember the guy elbowed me. This oh. one got chipped. It, it, he stunk as a basketball. Oh, player. I thought the basketball yeah. hit you in the face. In which case, with the way your teeth he were, they would, it, you would have you would have uh, punctured a hole in the in the basketball. But anyway, oh. uh, uh, yeah. yeah. But he used to have you. I don't think any one tooth was going in the same direction. No, oh, Alex, they were all like on strike. <laughs> the bottom actually really look good. Yeah. Shecky so Jesus. Oh my God. I said, These are terrible teeth. I said. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I knew. I mean, I just had bad teeth. Yeah. I only have them in three years, but it, I'm taking a little long. Yeah. The bottom ones. I had bad teeth as well when I was born. The top ones another year. Okay. Because it's this little tooth. You don't know what the hell's going it's on. It's coming pretty, pretty well. And then maybe we can get you laid. Uh, 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 Jason. So it was so funny. I was watching uh, Vice News the yeah, other day, yeah. and they were talking about Brexit, and it was a truck driver from England, and you know his teeth were so snaggled tooth, and he's missing half his teeth, and they're all yellow. It looked like he had these like yellow fingers in his mouth. And I was like, holy shit, it's so true what they say what, about the English well, no, teeth. What they, what they should do with the <laughs> British flag, as long as they're doing Brexit, they should uh, build a new British flag, and instead of the... What do we call that uh, pattern they've got there? Uh, Jack, something Union the Jack. Union Jack. It should Jack. be replaced with a pair of uh, bad teeth, I think, <laughs> on, the, on the flag. Uh, yeah, Brexit, the, Brexit may not happen. Now, remember, you know, why, why don't they just put it to another popular vote? Is there something that's stopping them from being able to do that? Pride. No, it has to be something There's illegal. Something else. That, would be, yeah. that would be the easiest way out if for everybody. Yeah, they put it you know, to another careers vote. Careers that would put in jeopardy, though. How I many what? Bureaucratic careers that would put in jeopardy, though. I mean, say if something like that happened here in stateside. A um, lot of, lot as I call them, semen slurping, ladder climbing, sycophantic bureaucrats would uh, have egg on their faces if. Uh, this is something like that. Wait, 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 wait. I, I don't think it would be any because they, the they could say, hey, look, the people decided they don't want to do it, so we're not going to do it. It wasn't me. I was there standing behind the people when they wanted to do it. Now they decided they don't want to do it, so I'm going to stand behind my people and represent my people and not do it. It would be wow. the easiest way out. I'm not I'm not arguing with you, though. You have valid points. <clears throat> it's, a good, it's a good way to... But that, that's what I'm saying. There, there has to be. There has to be something there stopping them. Wait a minute. From, let me. I'm going to ask, ask Brian again. something. Why every time you refer to a group of people, you always somewhere in there put in the admonition "semen slurper," <laughs> uh, <laughs> when in fact, and in fact, by definition, you are a sl semen slurper. That is correct. A literal <laughs> one. No, I can't say I'm a literal one because it, it would make me physically ill. Um, but um, I'm speaking metaphorically. I'm trying to exercise, for God's sake. <laughs> come on. Now, come on, Alex. You've been on this planet 50 years longer than I have. Surely you could have seen that I was making a metaphorical comparison. Yes, I guess. But it, but you always use the term like, you know, that semen slurping, blah, blah, blah. Because it sticks in your mind. It's the most vivid picture. Well, you can I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I've throat. always had a rather. <laughs> I've often. I've often had a rather fond relationship with anyone who would slurp semen. You know. I don't. Hey, hey Brian. Really you speaking? Alex? Every, Ooh, most, of women, I, most of you the women. Most of the women. Watching other people do it turns me on. But, uh, I, I only had one girlfriend who wouldn't give. Blow, I couldn't do it because it would make me sick. I only had one girlfriend who wouldn't give blowjobs. Uh, and she said to me, and so I won't give blowjobs, but if you can find someone else who'll give you one, go right ahead. I won't feel jealous. So, uh, 
Uh, she was the only one that I didn't, you know, there wasn't a semen slurper. But the rest of them were, you know. Like, well, if we're taking the conversation. I had one that used to the gargle. Record. Come on, it, you know. It, it does turn, you know, if it, if it turns them on to do that, it turns me on to see that they're happy. Yeah. As far as those. You know, quid pro quo. But, but you concerned. associate but me to do it. You, but you yeah. associate sperm yeah. uh, sperm slurping with being a troglodyte of some sort. You know. Sorry. Say yeah, that you, again. you 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 seem to associate it with low intelligence. Whenever you say it, you always apply it to people that are despicable. Maybe, but yeah. uh, maybe not so much uh, stupid people, but uh, just spineless. Um, ass kissing type well, people. Okay, but besides, uh, as I'm someone, what I'm saying here, is, as someone who has always deal. been very yeah. fond of anyone that would slurp semen, uh, I just, I just want to defend them. That's all. But you remember, yeah. you recall just a few seconds ago the reaction I got when I used that term. Damn near everyone on this panel, including you, laughed. So I achieved my end goal, didn't I? Well, we were and, laughing and because it was only two people arguing about it are the only two people who've had their dick sucked by another man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it, just which is more than can be said for you. Now, could it? Don't, man, don't, I've never don't had my dick sucked by another man. Well, well, well then, how do you how crazy. do you know how do you know you're not gay, Jason? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. See, I mean, I know I'm not gay <laughs> I because, I, because I did get a blowjob from a guy once, and I didn't like it. Okay, I can't breathe. And it, no, and it was. I I told you before that what bothered me was the stubble. You know, I, I mean, that story on this. Hey, 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 Alex, Brian's clean that. shaved. What? I said Brian's clean shaved. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that beard you're rocking disqualifies you, doesn't it, Jason? Yeah, it does. But hey, you got a nice, cute little baby face. Maybe Alex would like it. Hey, listen, <laughs> a lot of those things coming, are way coming in my, from someone who sounds closeted here. Way in my past. Now I'm 79 years old. I'm too. I'm too distinguished to uh, get blowjobs. Anyway, uh, what are we Let's talking? See, with him, about? we wouldn't slurp his cum. It would just be a poof. What a discussion <laughs> we're having here. <laughs> we're gonna get a snowstorm tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> like, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, Tony's the only one that, in the middle of discussing blowjobs, can say we're going to get a hell of a snowstorm tomorrow. Supposed to get one here in Pittsburgh too. When, 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 we're already having one here in Virginia. I, when well, they don't know if we're going to get one here, it may go north. Oh, it's going to go north. It may not be uh, north. See, I, I think ours is south. We're getting a little yeah. dusting outside right now, and that's it. I would prefer but Saturday. Saturday is supposed to be the big one. Well, to not, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow's my Wait. big tomorrow's my big fear day because tomorrow's the day that I get the delivery of this uh, um, three three thousand uh, dollar Mac Pro from eBay, and uh, it's coming by FedEx. So oh, who knows know what, gonna who, who knows what, whether it will ever get here? You know, you'll <laughs> get it. You'll get FedEx because I have to sign for it because it's a very yeah. expensive item. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's funny. They said it was going to get here next Wednesday. That's when it said on their thing. And then I get this thing. It says, hey, it's, you know, it's right now. I, I can see everywhere that it is at any given moment. For instance, <laughs> right now, I'll just uh, redo this here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, I do the same thing when there's something I'm dying to get. I, I, I keep oh, it open yeah, like and I just keep place. updating it. I yeah. keep getting the update. Yeah, detail view. And then I go down here and where is it at the present time? It's in Keys Bay, New Jersey. Where is Keys oh, oh, Bay, New close. Jersey? Oh, but I know it's right over the bridge, though, right? Yeah, I guess it is. New Jersey is just, New Jersey's big, so yeah, but just who, take an Uber over there and get it. No, but but a couple <laughs> but it was in Tennessee several hours ago. So it's 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 getting here. So and I put a so I put a note downstairs saying I'm here. Let's make sure they ring the doorbell. Let's see, okay. The, I, I, I'll have another cat fit tomorrow when I don't get it. You know, <laughs> this, this is a word. See, we don't have a doorman. The people who and they've got apartments are renting for like seven thousand dollars a month. Wow, and they they could afford to have a doorman. 24 7 they have one that goes on at like four o'clock and is through at midnight you know and he's not even there to open the door or take packages and and yeah, for, but how many lobbies does your complex have only has one lobby it has 
uh, four lobbies in, in four different what we call buildings off of a courtyard, but it does have one office as you walk in through the gate, all right? So uh, they should, you know, I mean, come on, there are people here paying $7,000 a month for apartments. You can't have a, a, somebody to No, they can't packages. afford it because then I'm they got these you. old people who are paying nothing. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. It's not like I don't want to pay nothing. It's you nice. You the Taj Mahal. But it's not like I don't want to pay nothing. But these people just keep delaying this case and delaying this case. And we're sitting here going, come on, get it over with. Let us know who we send a check to. And by the way, give us some of that money because we're we've been screwed. All right, uh, oh, but uh, uh, yeah, they, they you know we would buy some semen slurpers. By the way, Brian, <laughs> uh, uh, hey, it's catching on. You know, and we're just sitting here watching this fight between these two parties going like it's a tennis match. And every time they're supposed to have another uh, mediation hearing, it gets called off for two months because somebody decides they can't make it. And I'm going, don't, 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 the, don't the landlords want the rent off of this place? You know, don't they want, doesn't everybody want a solution to this thing? But apparently no, nobody does. Right, right now they can write you off as a tax write-off. Yeah. As I, a that's loss why of I'm income. Not paying taxes. I guess they can, <laughs> you know, but what can they write us off at? That's the question. You know, it's a, it's what a really. They, what can they do if you don't pay your taxes this year? If this shut off, if this uh, shutdown drags over into and past April. Well, but that's I, the thing. Uh, You've already paid it through your, that through your, I, that uh, I your don't, employer's that, already paid it. That I don't know. Uh, it's a matter of getting your tax return back, and that actually technically is supposed to be illegal if the government is shut down. Is, yeah. what's they it? can't do tax refunds. They can't do tax refunds. But they, they say they're going to. So do you get to charge them interest? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you know. I I ask my especially I, I tax myself high throughout the year, mm -hmm. so I get a nice tax return at the end of the year. So you know I'd be a little pissed, and I like to do my stuff a little early. But this year I'm you know being a little patient, hoping that something turns around. And well, well, I'll tell you what happens. What happens, uh, uh, and it 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 kind of bothers me, is that I pay taxes every year, and then. All of a sudden, my business manager says, oh, you owe $5,000 that you didn't pay. And I go, for what? Well, you know, there, there are those, uh, those uh, inve investments you've got, you know, your Vanguard account and your, uh, your stuff from Sirius XM, and they all pay you dividends, and so you have to pay taxes on the dividends, all right? So the, I get the dividends, and, and I've got great dividends because there were some great the you remember how the market was going up and up and up yeah, well now it's yeah, going yeah. down and down and down and i said okay so now do i get some money back because i've taken a loss here and he goes no <laughs> and i'm going this how much you sell us it doesn't work well that that, that was the thing he suggested was selling it off okay and then i can take the loss okay and then he said since it's low anyway, in another month or so, go back and buy it again. Yes. And that's the way you do it. But I, I just found that kind of like, you know, I, fuck you, you know, I mean, come on, government. And so there's this, uh, I can't get my taxes? Well, then I should be able to charge you uh, uh, interest for not getting it to me, you know? But no, that's not the way the government works. Yes, I see Jason has his hand up. So I, I heard you guys talking earlier about what the government shut down and stuff, but mm -hmm. did, did you mention, because I, I turned it off for a minute, about the Nancy Pelosi's trip being canceled by Trump? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ray, uh, oh, oh, were you, oh, you didn't have your hand up. You were switching the numbers on your cycle. Am I right about that? Ray? Ray's, Ray's at the gym. Uh, yeah. yeah, he works out for the rest of us. Don't you all feel you're losing a little weight? <laughs> Don't you feel Sorry, like I was having trouble with Skype. Yeah. No, I was trying to fix up. my volume. In fact, I need to do that too. Yeah, I'm gaining my uh, my uh, my winter weight. I've gained like two pounds. So uh, I'm, I'm going crazy, you know. You still oh, look a hell of a lot better than you did when you were in Syria. Uh, I saw pictures of you when you were in your serious years. 
Yes. So, you know, I, I saw a picture, a video. Kudos to you. Friend. I saw a video of it, and I went, was I that fat? Mm -hmm. You know? Because uh, look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Wow. Uh, you know? Yeah. Look for that. you, man. This is felt, man. Huh? It's all that bike riding. No, it's, <laughs> it's not the bike riding. You know, I'm, oh. I'm, this isn't as low as I was, but, uh, uh, but it is, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. You know. Did you do but it you're a lot taller than I thought? <clears throat> changing your diet or did you have like uh, stomach stapling or anything like well, that? Well, I did, I did, uh, what some people, they call it, some people call Atkins. it the keto diet, but it's really a low carb diet and the keto diet simply means that you put your body in ketosis. Uh, I thought and, you said the Cheeto diet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Cheeto no, diet. It's not working for that. You know, the truth problem. of the matter is, if you were to eat anything exclusively to anything else, uh, you would wind up losing weight. Uh, and and so you could eat nothing but Cheetos and lose weight, but I imagine you would probably have I don't know the skin color of Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Tired yeah. malnutrition. Yeah, uh, but uh, they they all went out. They, you know this uh, who's this uh, that Jillian uh, Jillian? Oh, she's a, she's a workout person. Jillian, yeah. whatever her name is. Uh, everybody is like giving her a bad time because she said the keto diet is a bad diet that it's bad for you, yeah. and people are like calling her every name in the book. They're they're yelling at her on on Twitter, and I. You know, I disagree with her. I, you know, I, I say if you can lose weight on the keto diet and you weighed like I did, 250 pounds, and now I weigh um, 100 or uh, 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 200 and, uh, uh, well, what was I? I was, two, oh, I was 245, 250 pounds, and I lost close to 60 pounds. Uh, is that... It, what what's worse, that or being on the keto diet? You know, well, but that'd be the same thing if you weighed two hundred and fifty pounds and then you got cancer and you went down to one hundred and fifty. What's worse? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I I I lost that weight and uh, it wasn't due to cancer. Although I I wanted people to think I did have cancer. You know, but you do because I would like maybe pass somebody on the street I work for at Sirius, and they didn't talk to me, and they went back and said, "I think he's dying of cancer. You should see all the weight he lost." You know, <laughs> you know. But as but I you said, you have cancer, don't you? Well, no, I'm not it, we. <laughs> I might have cancer, uh, but as it was explained on the uh, the Kaminsky method, it's the good cancer. The, right. What do they say? <laughs> there are three kinds: snail, something else, and rabbit. And you've got snail. <laughs> you know, uh, if you get the snail, you know, it, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. It's the AOL cancer. Yeah, you're going to die. Snail. Snail. <laughs> what? You got snail. You got snail. <laughs> yeah, right. You got escargot cancer. <laughs> so if I do have it, and my doctor says it's a slow one, and you, you know, you, I, he says I'll put you on some hormones, and you'll you'll live to be ninety five. And With I some said, nice big titties. It, it was, no, no, no. <laughs> I asked him about that. I, I asked him about that, and he said no, it, it doesn't really have many side effects. The big titties is you're thinking of <laughs> estrogen. It's not estrogen. It's, estro it's not e it's right. not estrogen they give you, which is a female hormone. They don't give you well, a female. Jason, if you're in effect, as you can achieve. They don't the give you a female them. hormone. They give you something that <laughs> that 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 goes against your testosterone. Uh, the reason I have I have see I have a large amount of testosterone. That's why this. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly. Yes, your people are bald because they have high levels of testosterone, and that's what I've got. And so, I'm, and as he put it to me, he said, "You know, when you hit uh, when you hit uh, your age, uh, which is really old, uh, uh, no. sixty what is it? Sixty percent of American men are going to get cancer by the time they're eighty, prostate cancer." But it's not the same prostate cancer as when you've got an aggressive one at like 50 or at 60, like Phil had, you know. Uh, and and so, uh, uh, but I, as I say, I'm going to play it for everything I've got. I said this last night, you know, if girlfriend says, take, can you take out the garbage? I go, I, not right now, I've got cancer. 
<laughs> touch of the cancer. You, you know, I, well, R little Richard said to me once when I said, why didn't you show up for the interview? He said, mm. I quote, I swear to you, I had a touch of the cancer. <laughs> And I went, apparently he hasn't gotten the concept of cancer, <laughs> you know. There's no, no such thing as a touch of the cancer. But now I'm finding out that there may well be a version of that with prostate cancer called a touch of the cancer. So, you know, what have you. I, uh, Where is little Richard? We haven't seen him. He's dead, isn't My he? Dead. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. That's a good reason. Do you, know, do you know who isn't dead? Are you ready Very for this? I, because I, I looked. No, I millions, looked. I looked, of people. I looked this up the other day, and I said, "Billions of people." <laughs> did he die? Because you know, this should be. You should be able to just go online, and there should be a site called "Did He Die?" and you could put in a name, and <laughs> there, they go yes or no. Is. Really? Is dead yet? <laughs> yeah, there are death sites. Well, I used to, to begin use with, them as show prep. To begin <laughs> with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Betty White has is celebrating her ninety seventh birthday today. Yeah. Yeah. But here, here's the one that got me. I said, I wonder if Kirk this Douglas. guy's dead. Oh, Kirk, Kirk Douglas is 100. like 102, 103. He's 101. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. He's Hugh. You remember, you remember down. Hugh Downs? Yeah. 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 He's still alive? 98. Wow. 98. Wow. What are you doing, 98? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I listen. Well, you can tell us in a couple of years. The way, so. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I'm going to wait. I'm going to just live long enough to watch you drop dead. Okay? <laughs> you punk. Hey, so, I, yeah, I work in Detroit. Might woman. not be too long. Huh? What, 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 the, the other day, I picked up a woman, a 98-year-old woman in mm -hmm. Uber, and she had three heavy sacks with her, and she opened the door herself and got in, mm -hmm. and and she her voice sounded like it was in her 30s, and she gave me directions to her house because my U GPS was screwing up, and this woman was 98 years old. I couldn't wow. believe it; blew my mind. Yeah, well, yeah, totally uh, blew my mind. All I know. Let, let's, let me talk to Jeff a second here, because Jeff and I are the two oldest people here, and compared to me, he's a child. All right. Thank you. How old are you now, Jeff? I'm 72 right now. 72. Yeah. 72. Okay. Yeah. So, and I got to tell you, a lot of the guys that I used to hang out yeah. as kids yeah. are dead. They're dead. gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, look, I got, I. Uh, you know, I tell sh my friend Shecky, don't die on me because you're my last friend. <laughs> I mean, you know. That's precious. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I had my friend Steve. Who died yeah. a few years ago, and then my friend Bruce, who out of nowhere dropped dead, God. and then I got then there's Shecky. So I'm 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 yeah. uh, literally I'm putting like bulletproof oh. vests on him and everything. I, I don't <laughs> want him. your age? <laughs> no, no, Shecky is uh, 64, I think. Maybe? Oh, okay. Uh, 63, something like that. Uh, no, he's not my age, but you oh. know, I mean, but I find that all these people. That I knew who were young, way younger than me, are dying. Yeah, you know. My my two brother-in-laws yeah. were much younger than than me. Yeah. Uh, and incredibly great shape, athletic people. Yeah. yeah. God. Wow. Wow. They never smoked. They never drank. Did you smoke? Did you smoke? Yes. <laughs> Well, listen, if, if tomorrow they had to remove this prostate, which I asked my doctor, I said, am I, ever, am I going to lose this prostate at some point? And he said, no, absolutely not. He says, that's not the way we treat what you have, okay? But I said, uh, I thought to myself, if they had to take that prostate, I got good mileage out of it. Okay, it you know, doesn't know you nothing, huh? Huh? It doesn't you know can, you anything. If it, wa if it wants to get, if it <laughs> wants to get cancer, for all the fun I had with it, go right ahead. They might frame you know? it, now, Alex, and put it in a museum. <laughs> no, I mean, I had, uh, you know, I, 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 I had a lot of fun with that prostate, and uh, <laughs> since I don't really need it as much any longer. Go ahead, you know. Timing's not so bad, right? Could you, but could you do me a favor? Would you bury it somewhere, and can we hold a service? You know, because... <laughs> really. 
Oh my! We can sell tickets to it, Alex. Yeah, we sell like tickets. To it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the gallons of 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 scum, uh, 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 Brian, that has come out of that thing in my lifetime <laughs> is an amazing output. I mean, it's been a very well. The the let's see here. The prostate gives you the prostatic fluid, uh, but it doesn't give you the sperm. Yeah. The sperm comes out of your testicles. Yeah. Okay, so between I uh, don't take my testicles, so I just there's just something about it that, and they like do it. that. By the way, they They're do friends. that sometimes for extreme cancer. They take your testicles to stop the uh, cancer from spreading. Yes, uh, uh, well, Lance Jason. Armstrong. Yeah, I heard you can get thirty thousand dollars if you sell a testicle. Really? really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the United States. So, so that gives some credence Fuck, to the term. Uh, uh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. On wait eBay, a minute. You that, yeah. that 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 really? gives that gives yeah. credence to the old saying, "I'd give my left nut for." <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about. It, I was like, "Shit, mine are already basically cut off. They're just sitting there. Why yeah. not sell them?" By the way, as we've been talking <laughs> yeah, about this, put in. the but, number uh, of people really? watching yeah. has gone. Two man berries, just one won't be real. The amount of people watching has gone down since we've been talking about this. <laughs> so we could find another topic and probably make them happy. Yes, and Jeff. Should, actually, I, I'd sell both of them because then maybe my knees wouldn't hurt as much anymore. I guess that means those people have no appetite for manberries, then. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, I saw you on LinkedIn last uh, today. I'm what? LinkedIn. LinkedIn. On LinkedIn? Yeah, I saw your resume now. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Is he I, trying to get a job for a Walmart greeter? No, I didn't. No, I, <laughs> oh, shut up. We were last night. I was reading stuff they sent me, like it's available, like you know, uh, uh, podcast coordinator for uh, uh, Stitch, for Stitcher for Stitcher. Yeah. And, and then I thought about writing them and saying, my qualifications. I invented the fucking thing, you know. Uh, but anyway. Um, what did you, so you saw my, I don't know, but I put that up a long time ago, and I don't think I put it up because I expected to get a job. I just put it up because I kept getting nudged by LinkedIn to sign up. I don't even know what LinkedIn is really for. Does anybody get work out of LinkedIn? Absolutely. I have really? gotten so many job offers from LinkedIn. You can't imagine. Really? You know what happens? All of a sudden, somebody will friend me, mm -hmm. and then... A day later, they'll contact me. Are you looking for work? We're looking for this. We're looking for that. You look, you know. I mean, it is amazing. Plus, I've had people tell me that somebody didn't get a job because their LinkedIn profile sucked. <laughs> so I had a friend. I had a friend who was a storage engineer, and he was looking for a job. And I and uh, so I'm I'm talking to this guy who's looking to hire somebody. And he goes, man, let me tell you something. Your friend. I know he's pretty good, but his LinkedIn profile is a lot of misspellings. He goes, can't oh, hire the guy. They really can't are. hire the guy. Oh, well, let's be careful about that. I, I just have never taken it seriously because I figure nobody's ever going to hire me again anyway. You know. Well, the, the other part is you can actually respond to job opportunities. Really? And use LinkedIn and say, I'm available and I'm interested in this job. Yeah, where where's LinkedIn located? No idea. Because they could steal, in kind of cloud. steal. Mountain it. View. They in the Mountain cloud. View. Mountain View. The <laughs> Cal they could California could take on the motto and steal it from uh, Illinois and call themselves the land of LinkedIn. <laughs> right next to Google and and Microsoft. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, they all yeah. hang out together. I see. Yeah. Yeah. The the building I used to work in that used to be Live 105 when I first went to Live 105 and then they moved to somewhere else. Was it called the Furniture Mart? It is now Twitter in San Francisco. So I, I don't know if that made everybody feel, oh, wow, I'm amazed. Um, you know, we, we don't often find this out, but Netflix, which, by the way, is raising their prices. You've heard about yeah. this. Oh, yeah. uh, mine, mine's going up to sixteen dollars a month. I have the fourteen dollar a month job where I get four K, and I get. You can also watch it on f five different machines or something at the same time, where you can only do two under the normal subscription. 
but they're raising mine two dollars, so and they're raising the bottom tier one dollar, which is considered quite a raise. Oddly enough, it's the biggest raise that any company's taken. Um, and I guess they go, well, fuck it. I, you know, we've looked at the statistics, and nobody's going to drop us because nobody wants to not have Netflix. Yeah. Right. I was thinking about dropping my DVD subscription. Well, I think maybe it's time. I was thinking about dropping Netflix. Uh, uh, you were thinking of dropping it? Why? Well, because it's getting too expensive. And I could do with Amazon Prime. And Amazon Prime, I think, sucks. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Mrs. Maisel's a pretty goddamn good show. All this show. shit can be downloaded for free and torrented and... And I yeah, so you can it. walk into a store and steal a DVD for the same thing too. So yeah, but you get, after a while, it gets a little bit greedy. Does yeah. it really? After a while, fifteen dollars a, a month for a subscription. Well, it it, it really went up a, a for this and fifteen for la that. Last year, I think it went up a dollar, didn't it, or something like that? And then uh, uh, now it's going it's up two dollars. Doubled in price in a couple of years. It was seven ninety nine. Yeah, but it's not it the 799 is now somewhere going to be around 10 or something like that. But if you want the uh, if you want to get 4K uh which most I people think would we're getting 4Q 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, we're, we're getting back to a discussion I was listening to the last show I listened to of yours you guys were talking about how you can't even really see the 4K and you're talking about the 8K and I was thinking, you know what? I work in Detroit. The only thing I shoot in is AK. <laughs> <laughs> AK. <laughs> and, Speaking and, of Detroit, did you hear that whole thing that's going on inside one of the GM plants? Mm. Yeah. Oh, what? That is, it's in Ohio or something like that. Oh, that's, that's right. It's in Ohio. Yeah, the nooses yeah. and the whites <laughs> only written on the bathrooms. I mean, you know, that, that's just dumb. You know, racism goes on all the time. People are making a big ass fucking well, deal oh, about. But they hang, they're hanging. They're, I mean, there's pictures of it here. They're hanging Not nooses, enough. and they've got. I mean, how do nooses. you get away with that? Yeah. Because actual... they're they're probably doing it during off hours when people well, aren't let around. Me, to let, me bring some, let, some, me, let me bring something up here. Assholes and... Let me bring something up here that occurred to me today. And since we actually have a black person here, although when I think about, it, I had to think about it for a second because I, you know. But there's Charlie, right? He at least he's dark. Maybe he just was out in the sun a lot. I don't know. But anyway, he claims he's black. Uh, do you remember? Sure. You remember NBC got rid of what's her name, Megan uh, uh, Kelly. Kelly, yeah, uh, because she did a whole thing about saying, "Well, I didn't see anything wrong with blackface," which I don't know, it may be a stupid remark. It may not be a stupid remark. I mean, whatever. I don't. They just wanted to get rid of her because she was a cunt. All right. <laughs> Yeah, and no ratings. And the, yeah, and no ratings, and they had buyer's remorse, and this was the excuse. All right. Yeah. So what are they, they? They have to put something in that hour. It's the hour that comes right after the Today Show, and they call it now the third hour of the Today Show. Yeah. And I tuned it in. I hadn't seen it. I tuned it in yesterday, and I look at it, and I go, what's wrong with this picture? And I looked at it, and I said, you know, for all the stuff that happened with Megyn Kelly... This show has no diversity <laughs> because everybody on the show was black. Uh, All the hosts on that show are black. It's uh, uh, Al Roker. It's the guy who's on MSNBC, um, uh, uh, who's one of does a show over there. I'm trying to remember his name now. And some woman and three black people are the hosts of that show. And I'm going. Wait a minute, uh, you know, can you call this diversity? Hey, what about all those years when there were nothing but white faces? On well, TV? no, I don't call it diversity. <laughs> I call it BET, you know. <laughs> I mean, I just I just wonder why, you know, and when I say di no diversity, okay, so don't put a white person in there. How about a Filipino, you know? Yeah. How about uh, an Asian? Uh, how about, uh, you know, any one of a number of different races that exist on this planet? Hey, what about a Native American? What hey. about a Native? Exactly. Or a Mexican. But no, it's all. Same thing. Every one of them are black. 
and I'm going, is this how you combat Megyn Kelly? Is this your <laughs> your way, your your liberal way of solving the problem? You know, the pendulum swung. They put a day. I mean, am I am I wrong, Charlie? Charlie, tell no, me no, I'm. No, you're right. Tell me you're I'm right. full of shit. You know. Yeah. But I just, you know, I, if, if, if you're looking for diversity. Um, I just overcorrected. Well, I just think that when we talk about diversity, we only enough. think it, okay, go get the black guy. You know, uh, diversity is, 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 is a blending, you know, and, uh, uh, and they're, they're, you know, it, it, granted, there are, it's nice that there are a lot more black peep faces on television. That that television is, uh, but I don't know how uh, that has it gotten that integrated. You know, when you watch TV, Charlie, do you go? Uh, are you amazed when you go? Hey, there's a black guy on that show. Because no. in the old days, black families used to call all the other members of the family. And get look who's on TV. One of us. <laughs> they used to do yeah. that. You know. Um, but anyway. But anyway, oh, so the reason I mentioned Netflix, all right, is they never used to tell us who watches what. You know, they were very quiet and close to the vest about it. Well, finally, some numbers have come out, all right, and they are listening uh, at the top shows on Netflix right now. Uh, Bird Brain. No, the show You and Sex Education are on track to be viewed by more than 40 million Netflix accounts in their first month on the streaming ser service. Wow. Do you realize that if you get on Netflix and you've got a show people want to watch, you're going to get more of a viewership than any of the networks could possibly get you? Isn't that amazing? Um, That's because you know they promote that. It, when you turn on Netflix, like you, you cannot avoid Bird Box. Like I don't want to watch that. I don't care about it. it. Looks dumb. What? What? But like every single time I log in, I see sex. Now it's sex education. It's like constantly. What? 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 Pick which? Which show is that again? The the one with uh, what's her name? Right, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Bird Box. Bird Box. I love how people are doing the bird box challenge or whatever and driving their car blindfolded. Yeah. Darwinism. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Bree, yeah. Bree, uh, uh, Darwin Bree, 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 you Bree, 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 uh, and uh, do you get anything there we don't get? Well, you get, I'm sure you get, like, you get Star Trek Discovery. Yeah. Because that's a Netflix you know, original. You know, Alex, what's funny is uh, every time I, it seems I really want to specifically watch something, yeah. Netflix doesn't have it. It's like I have to always watch, you know, what is available through them. And, you know, there's definitely enough there for me to find something. But, like, I want to watch Galaxy Quest. Yeah. I love that movie. And I saw a clip recently. And so I go on Netflix and I try to watch it and I can't. It's not there. I find the you know. exact same issues you do. Every time I search for something that I really want to watch, it's never there. But yep. but do you find also there's way too much stuff on Netflix? Yeah, I guess well, yeah Alice, that's what I said yesterday. They keep raising their rates. And it's like... Well, they keep they, ra raising... They stop making all the original content. I can't watch all of it. it uh, well, t uh, half of it is in a foreign language anyway because it's stuff they make for other countries. Uh, yeah. But But, I mean... Uh, Wasn't it Netflix that just got in trouble by uh, uh, was it Saudi Arabia for having something against the prince or something? Yeah, <laughs> a, 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 a comedy show. It was a, a well, stand-up you know, comedy thing. I don't know yeah. if you watched the Lily Hammer. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that? One? I don't. Well, I don't know if you guys also feel this way. The, the most recent one I'm watching is called Titans, which is basically about. Oh. Uh, oh, Robin! You know, oh, oh, oh! That, well, that's on uh, in America. That's on DC uh, yeah. on on the DC um, app. Uh, oh. You subscribe to it for six ninety five a month, and I I get it. And it is that Titans is maybe one of the best superhero shows ever done. Well, now how how far have you watched? I watched all all ten episodes, all eleven episodes. 
Okay, because see, I'm I'm on the one where she, uh, f- you know, blows up the train, the fire, because she doesn't want to get caught. And that, to me, and then they introduce w- uh, Wonder Girl, oh, it sort of has jumped the shark for me in that episode. Because I don't believe that that uh, Robin would have let them go to Ohio. Okay, well, let, let's explain. Let, let's explain it for a second, because most of these people have never seen this. No. Uh, uh, Titans is uh, is Robin, the boy wonder, has okay. left Batman because he doesn't like the way Batman has turned into this, just this killing machine, Knight. this the Dark Knight, and he doesn't want to be like that, although he is like that. Yeah. And uh, he meets up with these other people. And it's it, it was a comic book in the DC universe, right, Tony? You should know yeah, that. Actually, in the 1980s, yeah. I used to run to the store. That was by Marv Wolfman and George Price. I used to read every issue of that. That was like my favorite title. Yeah. They were that, that good, yeah. Wolfman yeah. wrote great stories. Well, speaking of which, I wanted to watch Rob. I wanted to watch Watchmen. They don't have that on there. Uh, well, Watchmen yeah. hasn't. Like, wait a minute. Watchmen hasn't started yet. It's going to be on HBO, but it hasn't started. No, I mean yet. The, the movie. Oh, the movie. The yeah. series is they're, they're coming. They're weak on movies. Uh, I don't think yeah. they can get the rights for uh, the streaming on the movies. That's the problem. That's why I keep the DVD subscription. That's where I get all my movies. Yeah, I still have my old movies too, Charlie. I like to watch the old movies sometimes. I pop them off my yeah. shelf. You know, Netflix should really start a separate service in which they make a deal with all the people that they rent their DVDs to just be able to have people go and go online and be able to rent so many pictures. In other words, just movies only. That's it. You know, nothing else. But what I find on, on Netflix, it's difficult is watching all that shit or finding it. It gets buried. Yeah. You know, I had a show I was watching and all of a sudden I want to go back to it and I can't find it. I got to go into the yeah. search engine to find it. Yep. Uh, yeah, Alex, and don't you find that like all the shows they have, they're all somewhat similar named. They're all kind of like generic at, at a certain point. There's just too many yeah. of them yeah. and they're recommending all these different ones. And I watch like two or three episodes and they're good to start. And then... By the third or fourth, it's like chewing gum. They lose their flavor. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with you. And you know what's worse than trying to find something? is Hulu. Hulu, you just can't find anything. I may have to cancel Hulu. TV shows, but what what, 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 what did you say, Tony? Now, now that you said that, I may have to cancel Hulu because I don't watch it. It's very I'll tell you, I love Hulu. I subscribe to the non-commercial uh, service where all the com- there aren't any commercials. And... Uh, I find it's great for watching a lot of the network stuff after the fact, you know. And of course, it, uh, things like Handmaid's Tale, which has done yeah, very right, well for good. them, right. and a couple of other. Really, I, I like Hulu. I think it's fine. But to find something on Hulu I, yeah. again, I got to go it's, into the search it's, 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 engine. You know. Yeah, you're right. That I don't like the way it's designed. Like, yeah. See, I don't like how Amazon. There's something like a movie on there. Maybe I want to rent it. Only thing I have to click on is how to rent, and it doesn't really tell me how to fuck rent anything on there. Yeah, you know, I, you know, where do I go to do something where I have to pay for something? There's you know, it's Amazon. actually easy to rent movies on YouTube. Yes, I, I rented out a documentary the other night, Alex. Yeah, on uh, on health issues, and you just rent it for two ninety nine. You get it for forty eight hours, and it's so user friendly. It's just a click, and it's right there. Really. Yeah, YouTube actually really is. And TV it, shows too. And TV shows, yeah. And I just, and I just, you know, I actually think uh, Google's got it going together a little bit. They should probably open it up a little more. But Brian, you know, they have a right, they have a right foundation. Looks like. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is that you pay so much to your cable company for your cable oh, service yeah. and blah 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 and so on and so forth, and you think that all this is going to be cheaper. Because this one's only six ninety five, and this one's only seven ninety five, and right, this one is this, and this one is that, and then maybe you got the service where you get all the local shows and everything, and that's another uh, forty dollars a month. Before you're through, you're paying more money than you would have paid the cable company for the same amount of service. 
I will right. say this about that. Yeah. You may be right, but I will say this, that you're probably paying for what you will watch as opposed to 900 channels where you, you keep yeah, shopping see. channels and all the crap that you yeah, yeah. you never but, watch. But, yeah. Uh, 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 Bree had his hand up, and then Ray. The, the kid next door is playing basketball. At which point do I get to go over and strangle him? Uh, <laughs> you have our permission to do it now, but point your camera out the window so we can see you do it. <laughs> no, it's it's they, there's two kids next door and they will skateboard, play basketball. And like I've talked to the parents, they have a main where this is Dubai. Inside, where, where, where inside is, the building? This is Dubai. Inside where when, when are they going to get old Christ. fashioned and just ride a camel? <laughs> well, you know, the, the, the quiet hours are 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So now it's yeah. 830. So technically, well, let's stop minutes. bitching, old man. <laughs> yeah. I just get, get so off my of damn it, lawn know? it's like i don't have you know a four or five year olds anymore and yet i have to live through that again you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's apartment living yeah yep, yeah. yep, yep. it's apartment living well they've gone through five maids over there so it's like the first maid or two we were able to stop them in the playground and say hey you know tell little johnny not to you know, ride a skateboard inside, but yeah. now they're on like number five. And I heard it was because the first two were too good looking, and the the wife was <laughs> the wife. afraid. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's remember, true. Or not. Remember, Bree, as I've said before in a previous uh, iteration of this program, it's Jimmy Junior, John Schlong, and Catalina Tina. Not as good as Sammy slum slurker slurping suckers, whatever. Well, that's what I refer to as children that annoy me. Oh, okay. Jimmy Jr., John Schlong, and Cantalina Tina. Here is a story that I am so happy about. I can't begin to tell you how just enamored I am of this story. Of all the people on TV that I can't stand, it's a guy by the name of Chris Hansen. Do you know who this guy is? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And I know how I heard what happened. It's the to guy him. from Dateline, right? Uh, to Catch a Predator. Catch a Predator, right? Oh, right. yeah. He, $13,000 bad check. It, I'm wondering how many of those people ever got convicted of anything because, uh -huh. quite frankly, the way they went about it was not exactly legal, <laughs> you know? Uh, it was called entrapment, I think, you know. So anyway, because it, it, come on over. Oh, there's a there's a young girl here, and uh, she she wants candy from you. And the guy shows up. Yeah, but they up. were fun to watch. I used to love watching that. Well, sure, but didn't you find feel uncomfortable about the legality of it all? I mean, it was just yeah, pure, it was like, utter entrapment. Uh, reality TV. I just looked at it as reality TV. Well, Alex. yes. Brian. I was just going to say, I remember when, when that was real popular, I was still in college, and uh, we had a debate about this in my house at the time as to whether or not it was entrapment. I was in alignment with my father's opinion that it was a form of entrapment, and I had a law class that I took as part of my, uh, as part of a requisite for my major, which was in communications, yeah. and I asked the professor if he agreed that it was entrapment, and his uh his um, his argument, if I recall correctly, was because there's a camera involved and because it's being broadcasted, it's not. That's a weird argument. Why does that even matter? They still put, went through that whole stuff you didn't see on television, which is, you know, the whole relationship building and the chatting online and all that. The only thing you saw on camera was the was the final stage of it. So it seems odd to me that that that's an odd. I don't see how that argument works. Yeah. And the person you're chatting with was the uh, it was an adult. You know, and the the person on the uh, who's the guilty party could easily just say, "Hey, I knew it was an adult. I was yeah. just playing along and it was just yeah. acting out a fantasy." You know, and I, well, if I remember I, right, they have different state laws. So I, each state had a different yeah. way you had to do it, so it wasn't entrapment. Yeah. I have two way two things to ask. Number one, I have to ask Ray, where are you sitting? Are you still in the gym, but you're in the relaxing yeah. area? Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, and Bree, what what was that you were holding up? Netflix says its biggest threat is Fortnite. 
Yeah. That <laughs> Playing video games. Oh, I hate yeah. that fucking game. Don't get me started on that fucking game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because somewhere along the line, scum slurping will come into the vernacular. Oh, there's a, there's some breaking news on the screen at CNN from BuzzFeed. Mm -hmm. President Trump directed his attorney to lie to Congress about the Moscow Tower project. Nothing well, matters anymore, you know. Oh boy, I thought BuzzFeed. Uh, wait, 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 where, where did I where did I lose the, the thread oh, of the story? But I thought BuzzFeed was out of business. Yes, you not. know the thing that's funny is that so many Let's people are worrying about wait, wait how Trump would bankrupt America and you know destroy the government and blah 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 blah. Well, you know, I know maybe it might be a far reach, but the government shut down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and but, then all this shit's going didn't on. Right now. Didn't BuzzFeed get sued out of existence? Didn't BuzzFeed know it yet? Didn't BuzzFeed get sued out of existence, if I remember correctly, Be, uh, courtesy of uh, what? Hulk Hogan. It? Hulk Hogan. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Someone else is probably that, bought the, the name. State of the Union strong. Could be. Yeah. The anyway, can't tell. There might not be a State of the anyway, Union. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, it's not a oh, you know, when you're talking about shows that I kind of like that were like mm. uh, like that, uh, uh, it was um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, the um, Cheaters. I love Cheaters. Anybody watch Cheaters? No, I don't think I ever saw that. Nobody watched Cheaters. I like oh, look, that better than How to Catch a Look what we've got here, and he's made it into a full house, actually. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Where are you, Phil? You're uh, at the I'm, Los Angeles I'm, Airport, I'm, right? Yeah, I'm at the Admirals Club in the uh, L.A. Airport. Oh, are you trying to impress us? No, but uh, I'm sitting in a little booth where there's uh, like a computer, but I'm using my phone. Hey, if you're at the Admirals Club, you should have said ahoy. Why? Do you belong to the Admirals Club? Yeah. Yeah. And how I, 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 I get it with my credit card. You get oh you mean it came with your credit card? Yeah. In yeah, other I words, have a credit card that gives me that kind of thing too. Oh, really? okay. Yeah. I give one that lets me use the toilets at the airport. <laughs> so you know, yeah. Maybe I, I need to look did. into a better card or something like that. You know. Yeah. But, uh, did you yeah, tip so. your TSA agent? Uh, tip him. Oh, did he no. have to go? Uh, you take your shoes uh, off? Or give him no, some I, food I, stamps or anything. Oh, by the way, they by still the, had. I had TSA pre. By the way, oh, by the way, just a little bit of news. Come. One of the nice things about being over the age of seventy-five, <laughs> I, I don't have to take my shoes off anymore. Why? Because I'm seventy-nine. They don't want to look at right, his Jeff. <laughs> they, they don't think you're a threat. What? They don't think you're. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Jeff. What? Uh, to, to they, how old do you have to be? To, to not take your shoes off. I think seventy-five. <laughs> or pay eighty-five bucks. Yeah, that for that quick, quick pass or whatever thing you've got that right, Phil. Yeah, yeah the TSA pre. Yeah. Yeah, the global global traveler or something. And global, yeah. So you, so you don't have to take your uh, your shoes off, Phil. I they had that, but I don't know if I lost it for some reason. Yeah, last uh, like three times I've been. Years. Last three times I went through the airport, they just they pulled me aside and said, "You don't have to go through it." <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, anyway, I didn't get back to Chris Hansen. Oh yeah, what he yeah. bounced the check. Well, uh, he uh, he's run into uh, problems. Continues to run into problems. Uh, TMZ reports that Hansen is being evicted from his Manhattan home. Oh According to legal docs, the former host of To Catch a Predator last paid rent in August of 2018 and was $400 short and stopped sending checks altogether after that. So the owner of the pad hey, went to court beat. and filed paperwork <laughs> to have Chris well, evicted. No, I didn't refuse to pay the rent. <laughs> I have no contract with anybody to pay the rent. I want a is contract. That show, is that show based in L.A.? And maybe he's just not using that apartment? No, it's Manhattan. He, and, but anyway, uh, it, he owes $400 for August and 3600 for September. Uh, and the judges said, get out of here. But he is also he has also uh, been arrested uh, previously in connection with uh, with uh, what is it? A, no, it was something else. 
Phil, but, you're kind of loud. But it doesn't say here. But anyway, I, oh. I was so happy to see him in trouble. Let's see. I'll, let me figure out how to mute it. Well, it, uh, it's okay. It's not that noisy in the Ambassador Club or Admirals Club or whatever. There's nobody in it, it looks like. It, 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 you know, you were talking about... It TV sounds like the Admirals though. Club should be associated with Scientology. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it would have been the Generals Club, but it's a different airline. Now, here's one for you. Reality television personality who's had her share of run-ins with the laws just had another one. The Blast reports that Alexa Curtin, I never heard of her, known for her appearances on The Real Housewives of Orange County, started off 2019 by getting arrested once again for drug possession. According to court records, the 26-year-old Curtin was arrested on January 5th for possession of Xanax and other drug paraphernalia. Is having Xanax against the law? If you don't have prescription. Well, but uh, who says they didn't have a prescription? You know? Well, it wouldn't be against the law if you had one. Uh, it, the reality star was busted uh, by the Irvin PD for possession of a controlled substance and possession of drug paraphernalia. Oh, boy. Well, hey, yeah. did you see that, uh, what was it, the prince, whatever his name is, uh, the queen's husband, rolled his freaking car? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Philip. Yeah. Prince Phil, ninety-seven he, years well, old. Well, I said, I said to myself, Good. "I'm sorry, I, I hate." And, and he was okay. He walked away. I, yeah, I, he had, didn't hurt himself. The other person in the other car got hurt, though. You know, the other people he hit. <laughs> Boy, are they going to get sued? Anyway, <laughs> uh, no. The thing that hit me, and I don't want to say that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm seventy-nine, but I can't imagine driving at ninety-seven. You know, yeah, I, I even hear you talk about driving up to Vermont or something, and but you haven't driven in years. And I'm sorry, you know, you are older. You shouldn't drive anymore because you don't have the experience. You know, you it, it's you know. Hey. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. If you if you drove every day, that would be a different story. But when's the last time you drove a car? Uh, last time I drove a car was about three years ago. Okay, so three years ago, and you're 79 years old. I'm sorry, you shouldn't do it. I anymore. probably still can drive. You know, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I I would I would love to not have to drive out of this city. I'd like to be out like in the suburbs and then rent a car and then try it there just to get my my driving legs back. But you know, because you know, I even know from being in uh, one time I took a vacation in Mexico. And I was staying at a resort, and we had uh, golf carts. And yeah. so I was driving a golf cart for a week. Yeah. And I came back home, and I jumped into my car, and holy shit, was it! It, I felt like I should be driving the golf cart, but it was my car, and it was it was there was a learning curve. I, I I'm not as worried about that. I think about five minutes behind the wheel of a car, and I'll be fine. You know, I spent. Listen, I'm from California. And we drove everywhere. You know, we I'm from the Motor City. We drove to the drugstore, <laughs> uh, the grocery store, what have you. Is Phil dead or is that is he's frozen? Yeah, he's frozen. He's frozen. He, Phil is frozen. Know. How come he always freezes in the most unflattering <laughs> <laughs> position? It's like he plans it or something. Maybe. The, but uh, you know, hey, can you, I say something? Yes. In Alex's yeah. defense, please. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. Ray. Yes. Okay. I'm in my car now. I need to say, I've met you recently that you can drive. Alex, you talk about, like, how you're old and everything, but you're, like, totally, like, completely able to drive. You don't at all seem like anybody who shouldn't be driving. Yeah, You can be mentally there. You can be physically No, he's fit physically there, too. But I'm not arguing that at all. It, it, it's, okay. It, oh, it is. <laughs> no, it, it's not about, you know, hey, he's senile, he can't see, blah, 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 or whatever, this or that. It's just, you know, you get to an older age, your reflexes are going to change. Yeah, you know, I, you're I, not going to see his reflexes, I, you're not going to see all this and that. And like, like I said, even just... Drive. I, I understand that, but, you know, uh, you've got to remember that uh, I drove so much in my lifetime that I don't know that there would necessarily be a problem. 
that it, it, that half it, of my job is driving, and that's why I'm telling you. Even just taking a vacation one time in Mexico, where I was driving a golf cart for a week versus a car, and then I got back into my car after leaving the airport, and it's just like holy shit, this is you know. Well, what if, what do I do if I go to Europe and I want to drive around? I can't anymore. Is, is that what you're Uber. telling me? An Uber. <laughs> Hey, uh, Uber, I'm in Paris. I wanted to have you drive me to Ma yes. Madrid. Uh, Uber yeah. is all over. Or you take the train. I'm going to get to go to Germany soon. Really? My, uh, my, wife's, my wife's niece is marrying a German, and uh, we're going to go visit. I'm really looking forward to that. I've never been there. Really? Yeah. Any relation to Hitler? <laughs> Third cousin on his mother's side. I see. Okay. That's a good term. Yeah. They don't look anything alike except for the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, now. Here's France what, right now. Here's what we can do. We can say terrible things about Donald Trump, and then Phil will try and argue with us, but he doesn't want to talk too loudly because the people around him might jump him and kill him. <laughs> do that. It's perfect. Okay, let's trash Trump. And you don't have Bill to. Explode. Watch the news. Oh, I think he's going to wind up in jail. Don't you guys think he's going to no, wind up in jail? He's going down hard. I hope so. <laughs> uh, can I give you my uh, my uh, assessment? Yeah. No. Uh, you guys, you know, Giuliani lift is like a dog, and Giuliani lifted Trump's tail, and you guys can't wait to bend down and you know there's nothing there and when the guy is 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 uh well, did you hear what he said today giuliani or you've been too busy i uh, know i heard it you heard it okay <laughs> <laughs> so it was Trump colluding. he admitted that they that the campaign colluded with the russians <laughs> Here we go. And he's his lawyer. Isn't he supposed to not be getting him in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, you would think that that you would think that that goes with the, with the job. What's he working for? Huh? You're not supposed he to be in court one day. Not even one day. He's going to get yeah. punished. You know, but, all you guys can do is sniff the back of the tail. But but that's okay. With you, also God, that they colluded that the that the campaign colluded with the Russians. That's okay with you. Yes. Wow. Nixon didn't spend any if, time in jail if, either. If, if a Democrat would have done that, oh my God. They did. They colluded with the Hillary's FBI. not being. Uh, please. Hillary's please, not please. being. Uh, having the FBI look at her to see if she was working for the Russians. Not yet. Yeah. That's yeah. because the. Uh -oh. Also, you, you, you were talking last yeah, night about him uh, about him uh, uh, living up to his promises. I don't see him having. Uh, Hillary arrested. I think if we found out that Trump killed that journalist and it wasn't uh, the, the prince, yeah, it would be okay with Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Phil, you know, uh, here's the thing, and, and I and I say this, yes, Jason, yes. Uh, I was just uh, that's a little kind of a joke, a side note. I'm doing a project right now where I'm putting in fiber optics into a building that they're reconstructing, put making it into an apartment complex. Yeah. And there's uh, some Mexicans there that are working, and they're doing the framing, to put up shit. And I was like, look, Trump is having the Mexicans build the wall, <laughs> <laughs> and he won't pay them. See. <laughs> you say he won't pay them. Build the wall. He just doesn't have to pay them, and therefore, just like he, just like he's done on his it. other uh, construction right. projects. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, incidentally, earlier tonight actually called me by Skype from the airplane, and uh, yeah. I guess when you tried earlier from the airplane, it was this. You know what? The reason is probably there's probably too many people using the Wi-Fi at the same time. Uh, yeah, I you can't paid stream sixteen stuff. bucks. Uh, to get a, a satellite Wi-Fi uh, <laughs> so that I could uh, email and uh, text and, and do all of those things, which covered me for the whole flight, but it didn't work the whole flight. What do you mean by it, satellite Wi-Fi? It, 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 put a little dish on this thing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Make America Great hat with a big satellite dish on the top. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a little dog with his tail up and a bunch yeah, of Democrats sniffing at the back. But um, the uh, the plane had Wi-Fi that you could uh, connect to the Internet. Yeah, but the oh, problem with those, it's shared Wi-Fi, so the more people that connect to it, the slower it gets. Yeah. All Wi-Fi yeah. is shared Wi-Fi. Yeah. Well, yeah, but 
it's when you're Unless on a plane. Well, no, it's a, it's, a a sa- tube, it, it's a satellite a Wi-Fi. It's a satellite connection so that they can pick up the Internet. But then yeah. once it gets into the plane, so, there's a plane Wi-Fi, and that Wi-Fi, <laughs> if too many people are using it at the same time, you're going to get less and less yeah. of a signal. I, I took a it. bus to New York from from uh, uh, Washington D.C. once, and they said they had Wi-Fi on board, and yeah, they had Wi-Fi, but it was it was great until everybody turned their devices on, and then it was like dial-up. I don't think they have an idea what Wi-Fi is exactly, the airlines. I hate it right now when I go to install Internet at somebody's house and they say, the Wi-Fi installer is here. That's not everybody calls it Internet anymore. It's the Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's the Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, there's a right. Yeah. You know what I use in my house? I use the, the wires in the house like it's for the Internet. And I just have these... Uh, plug things. It works great. Really, like I really I, ju- I just <laughs> laid some more some different wire going into the guest room, and now I'm getting full like the full on FiOS uh, uh, power. Uh, Did you so lay yeah. down some Cat Six? Huh? Yeah, I did. I, laid, can't, I can't do it because I have no subfloor. I live in an Eichler. There's no subfloor anywhere. Well, I just do it. I just do it like along. Staple it to your baseboard. I, st- I staple it to the baseboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. My wife would hate it, though. You know. Yeah. To paint it white or whatever color the. Yeah. But and it, they got some yeah, pretty okay. decorative moldings. You know, they got some pretty decorative moldings. Uh, that oh, if do you they? look for it, you'll find. Yeah. Yeah. But they Ethernet that molding. baseboard that's hollowed out in the back, and you yeah, can that's put the. Uh, the stuff yep. in that. That's what I'm talking about. I've seen that stuff. I want to use it in my theater downstairs. Oh, yeah. so ghetto. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, we didn't talk that much about Trump tonight. That's pretty good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I, I wasn't there. It, uh, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. so always tomorrow on this show. Well, Who knows what the fuck is well, going well, you know, you know what, I, what I felt is, is there's just too much of Trump on the air, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. come on, this guy is just monopolizing the news cycle, and the the networks are allowing him to do it. You know, they're co-conspirators in all of this. Uh, oh, you know. All Trump all the time. Yeah. Oh, and, and, you and, know, what? Did you get... Did you get the message that Maxine Waters was on my flight? Yes, I, and I, I mentioned that to oh, girlfriend, wow. and Did I said, like no. no, I said that she, he was, she was two, two rows ahead of you, and he yes. was on stuck on this plane with Maxine Waters, which I think is God <laughs> getting even with Phil Meyer. He must have known who was, that is. There was that? three other congressmen Congresswoman. Uh, there. Uh, uh, real uh, liberal congresswoman that. from California. Huh? Okay. Did she order a lot of bananas? <laughs> <laughs> no, she said something about impeach 45. <laughs> yeah. Did you go over and tell her how much you liked her work? Didn't say a word. Oh, you didn't I have see. your MAGA hat on? No. Did you want to say? Did you want to say something? Uh, yes, <laughs> but I, I thought uh, that it, it, it's better off not being in the news. <laughs> you could have got some publicity for Carpet One. Yeah, yeah, like great yeah. publicity. <laughs> they would have grabbed me at the gate. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, I, I think we're, uh, we're kind of through here. Boy, it, you know this uh, this new uh, Skype I'm using or this old Skype I'm using is better than the latest one I was using. This is terrific, uh, and and it's been solid. And uh, so have you guys. Uh, it's been a good night. We finish off with a full house. Ray Renati, thank you so much for being with us. Brian Ludwig, you too. Phil Meyer, enjoy the rest of your trip. Jason, Be safe. Yeah. always nice when the wife lets you out. <laughs> Bree, always good to hear from you from Dubai. Rob Alfano, needless yeah, to say, he is actually part of the Gabnet family. Uh, Charlie Wallace, great having you back. It's just wonderful. It feels like old times. Jeff Stein, of course, you're terrific. And Tony Magno, you're great. Hey, you know what I'd like you all to do? Why don't you all wave goodbye to the audience out there? And uh, then we'll fade to me doing the same thing. Okay. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll see you again tomorrow night for our final show of the week. Boy, I've really been having a good time with this. Uh, uh, And I hope you have, too, as well. Uh, I actually am having a good hope that GabNet works. 
Uh, anyway, hey, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll be back again, of course, uh, tomorrow night. Next, Jack Bishop. He's going to be here with Intersection. That will be followed tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern Time by Damian Chaplin and The Exchange. And then at 10 o'clock, I'll be back here. Same time, same station in life in the meantime. As always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>